Um, I don't think I like this. I'm in a very, very, very dark place and can't see where I'm going. And now we're running down. Oh, I do have a flashlight. Well, this looks welcoming, homely and inviting. And not scary as shit at all. And there's another bed. Last time there was a bed, we got like a massive rock slide. So, uh, approach with caution. What the dick. Okay, this dude is definitely suffering from hypoxia. Let's see. Big hallway of doom now. Well, a square hallway. And steps leading down into the bowels of the evilest place on the planet. Yes, let's go this way. Um, no power. Find a way to restore the electricity. Is this going to be a jumping puzzle by any chance? Yes, it is. It is starting to feel like they're not really going full puzzle game or adventure. They're just really trying to pad it out a little bit. Okay. Will this open now? Yes, it will. I think this may be a Russian installation. Why isn't the British National Anthem like that? I mean, you listen to all of the different National Anthems of the world. The American one is basically, look how awesome we are. Look how great everything is. You want to live here. Russian one is like this, just proper, powerful, and yeah, go the Ruskies. Ours is a funeral dirge, asking God to bail out some unelected German sponges. What is that? It's a skeleton and a thing. Three nights ago, I managed to barricade myself in my room. With any luck, they won't be able to get in here. Of course, all I've done is lock myself into my own tomb. I realise I am near the end. The calls from the other posts have dwindled over the past two days. It's been hours since anyone has responded. I've made peace with the idea of my death, but I wish I didn't have to face it alone. Auto-translated from Russian. That was a weird thing for him to say. Uh, anything else around here before I move on? Look, I know that clearly there's been some disaster here, but... If you've landed on a planet, right, and you're making a settlement, this is clearly just like, it looks like an office or a classroom. Why is it so massive? And why is there literally one light up there illuminating just this spot with... I mean, don't get me wrong, that's a powerful image from a story point of view, but it doesn't make any goddamn logical sense. Now, word, I came in through there. Uh, more lights up here. What is this? I bet I can make use of this. It appears to be a massive bomb. So I guess I'm blasting my way through a wall somewhere. So let's look for a tool tip to say, this is where you should set off a massive bomb. At least I think it's a bomb. It looks like TNT. Do you want this? Um. Ah. Oh, run like fuck! Why no go? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Run like fuck. And, um, why no go? Boom. Puzzle solving. I like how they give you two just in case you fuck one up. Russians found some kind of portal that transported them to this planet. And then, and then things went terribly wrong. Were the demons from hell? Because I think that's sort of. Do may already have that copyrighted. Okay. 
I found my way into some sort of research facility, came across the skeletal remains of one of the former of one former lab worker. Documents nearby indicate the Russians built some sort of portal system that lead here, though I'm not certain where here is. This place appears to be a colony, like they weren't fully established before something went wrong. Well, he managed to build a nice little village. And, yeah. Okay, once again, if you look at just the sheer size of this place, and the amount of time and effort it would take to dig something like this out, I'd say they were pretty well established. But when have we ever looked for logic in games? This appears to be some sort of rave hospital. Um, okay, this is getting spoopy. The virus is spreading faster now. All our efforts to contain it have so far been futile. We haven't given up hope, however, and my colleagues are working tirelessly. We are not dealing with, the ter with terrestrial species, and thus, th and thus there is so much we don't know. The challenge is so great, and yet we must prevail. We must prevail! Auto-translated from Russian! Why do they keep saying that? I don't get it. So there's some sort of virus which has turned them nutters and made them attack it. And here's another hospital bed in what appears to be a very clean, not destroyed room. I wonder if this is going to be some sort of cutscene and flashback. Well, that's just fucking weird. What's over here? Amazing. With each test we run, her samples appear more promising. I will log more details later. There si simply isn't time now. Auto-translated from Russian. Okay, now this is... St what, was, what was the girl's name in Fear? Oh, spooky noises. You know, the way they got the girl and they did all of the psychic experiments on her and then she died and came back as a vengeful murder ghost? Given that we keep seeing the hospital bed, a woman screaming and a virus, and now we're hearing talk of, like, she's a test subject. Spooky ghost woman, maybe? Great. I think my mind is playing tricks on me. My mind is playing tricks on me. I thought for a moment I was back on Earth. After the hallucination passed, I found a human trackway leading out of the underground facility. The footprints glow green for reasons I can't explain. It was a rave hospital... Someone has broken a glow stick and walked through it. I took some samples but haven't had time to analyse. The footprints seem to lead out of the facility, so for now I'm going to follow them, but with caution. See, he doesn't say auto-translated from Russian. I know that right now someone is desperately trying to type a comment to go, it just means it was auto-translated from Russian, they're not saying it. Okay, this is kind of annoying. <laughs> Time for more pretty easy puzzle solving. I'm guessing I'm going to push that into that, which will block that. Do we get that? Oh, come the feck on. That was a bit anticlimactic. Well, I'm kind of surprised that actually stopped. <laughs> Massive fence, tiny empty barrel. Ding. Explosion for no reason. Let's have the flashlight back on. Or as we like to call them in the UK, a torch. Yeah, unfortunately, I, well, not unfortunately. I lived in America for about 10 years, so I still use a lot of Americanisms. And it kind of sounds like I'm trying to be one of those douchebags who basically spends two minutes in a foreign country and then basically takes on all of their mannerisms and has a full accent. Remember, there was a really old British TV show called The Word where Amanda Decadene was interviewing someone and managed to develop a full American accent over the course of an, uh, over a course of an interview. I don't know why I'm babbling on about this. Back to game. Okay, that's bringing a trolley-type 
elevator type lift device. Cable car, that's what I'm looking for. So let's get on this mofo and see where it takes us. Probably somewhere nice, I'm hoping Disney. Hello? Oh, don't tell me it's one of them where I'm going to have to trigger it. Run like fuck all the way up here to get onto it before it leaves and then make a jump and then have to wait. Oh, bollocks it is, isn't it? That's exactly what it is. Run! Don't get hung up on the thing! Ah, shit. Um, are there any barrels or anything I can stack to force that to... I might be able to make it. Let's give it another try, and as always, I will skip to when I actually make it for you fine people at home. Ah, I think I may have figured this out. You can stop that in the middle. So rather than ride it across, if I get the spacing right, I can jump, jump, yeah, and jump, jump, no, ah, bollocks. Let's give that one more try. Maybe I can move it a little bit further back. And the sun has just come out, and the glare on my screen is making this more or less impossible to see. Uh, let's see. Turn around, you bastard. No, that's nowhere near. Let's see if I can move it a little bit further back. The barrel method of trying to jump up there didn't work, so... Let's try that. I've run up these steps so many goddamn times. I should be smarter at this and better at games. Let's try now and run and jump. Jump! Oh, 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 oh. I think we may have it this time. And run and jump. Jump! Oh, you bitch! Maybe I have to do it all in one go so it doesn't actually, like, I don't lose momentum. Let's give that a try. And run. And jump. Double jump. Jump. Double jump. There we go, motherfucker. I did it. Woo! I did a thing. I solved a puzzle, but now the music's getting all spooky and I don't like it. And now there's an earthquake while I'm underground. And this looks like a tunnel that has been carved by some massive worm thing. So this is not going very well for me. Um, way around. I fecking well hope so. Mario? It's okay guys, I've found a warp zone. Oh, shit. I guess I'm going through this tube. Yeah, I've got to apologize if I appear even more of a spaz than normal. Um, because of a lot of stuff I had to do this weekend, I'm recording on a Sunday morning. I usually like to do it at night. And the room I record in, there is a very large window next to me. And for the first time ever in England, it's decided to be a sunny day today. And occasionally the sun comes out, which basically means I cannot see a goddamn thing on my screen. So, YouTube darkens anything anyway, everything anyway. So, um, the version you'll be seeing is what I see brightened up anyway. But basically, I am kind of screwed for actually being able to see things right now. Let's... F oh. The music got all fancy and then just stopped. Okay, we've got two sets of footprints. Is that's where... If these are the footprints I'm following, I think this is where the rock slide was. 
So let's have a gander around here to see if there's anything dropped, any pickups, any story things. And it appears to go up there to whatever the hell that is. But there's something over here. Um... I've located an abandoned mining operation. The rocks here appear to share the same phosphorescent properties of the human footprints I'm following. I suspect there's some radiation involved here. Not sure if this area is safe, so I'm moving on following the green footprints as best I can. I told you it was because it was a rave disco hospital. And a glow stick accident. Oh... Crap, this is not going to be fun. Hallway of Doom. <laughs> 